I thought I would come on live um, just for a few seconds. My sister is on the way over here to cut my hair. That's why it looks like this because she told me not to curl it. She, um, she is an excellent cause in the kitchen. I don't know how you say it. But she has she uses scissors that cost a thousand dollars and she has this dry cutting technique that gets all the um, weight out of my hair so she's gonna be here any minute hey Christine and she's gonna cut my hair that's why it looks like this straight oh thank you Jennifer hey Leslie um, so I thought I would just come on here because it's been a while and I've been wanting to come on, but I am absolutely buried working around the clock to get ready for boot camp, which is, um, we have a couple events. September 8th, I'm gonna be in Delaware at Jane's Reliable with some of the other DIY retailers teaching. It's gonna be a whole day that's open. It blew in here. The wind just blew in the front door. Um, so at Jane's Reliable on September 8th, that's Saturday, I'm gonna be there with some of the other DIY retailers. It's totally open to the public. There are classes and demos and a flea market going on all day long, so I've been getting ready for that. Um, I'll put the link to Jane's Reliable down below. Hi, Catherine. Um, maybe I'll let her cut my hair if she walks in. You guys wanna see my hair getting cut? Um, and then after that, September, I think I fly into Tennessee on September 16th. I'm going to be gone for a whole week, but we have DIY day camp that Tuesday. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday is the, the three-day boot camp for the retailers. On Saturday, there's a big event at Farm Fresh Vintage Finds. Beth Tidwell in Fairview, Tennessee. I'll put the link down below to her. It's um, it's a whole day of a little seahorse. Oh, it's been a long time since we've had little seahorses. I wonder when that was, Jenny. Um, anyway, if you're anywhere near Fairview, Tennessee, come see us on September 22nd, I think is the date. I can't check my calendar because my it's my phone that I'm talking to right now. But that is a whole other flea market event. Um, Dion from the Turquoise Iris will be there. Kelly Weiler from Girl Upcycled. Zeb and Jamie Ray will be there. There will be demos, paint demos all day, make and takes all day, um, some free paint classes. We have a whole like free decorate a paintbrush demo. And then there will be like amazing things like a photo booth where we'll have props and we will show you how to stage furniture or just like even if it's a piece of jewelry, how to show you how to take good photos with your phone. So the whole, the whole day is geared toward DIY and demos and make and takes and classes in Fairview, Tennessee. So um, I would love to meet you if you're anywhere near there or Delaware, that's coming up. That's why I haven't been doing lives because it's like, it's work that takes every drop of my energy to do. Um, so I just said all that and I'm out of breath just from talking about it. Hey, funky butterfly. Um, but I wanted to give you an update on the whole keto situation. Um, so the last time I did a live, I came on here and I told you about getting my body fat tested and like how I work out every day, five days a week, burn about 500 calories, hardcore intensive, like not CrossFit, but Orange Theory, which is, is pretty, pretty um, intense. Um, I've been doing that for a year and a half and I've been on keto now for I don't even know how long, like 20 weeks or something. And I've gone down two jean sizes, but when I went to get my body fat tested again, cause I did that a year and a half ago, um, and I had it tested two weeks ago, I was fully expecting that I lost 10 pounds and that my body fat would be way lower and I had lost not even five pounds, like four point something pounds in a whole year and a half. So I was really, um, I was really, depressed about it and disappointed about it and angry about it and I was convinced that his scales were rigged. So after I did that live a few weeks ago, the next day I went to Orange Theory and they have a scale in their lobby and I've never once gotten on it because I didn't want to know. 
and um, I decided, okay, I'm gonna see what their scale says compared to the body fat testing guy. And I actually weighed a pound more. <laughs> oh, so I'm just like, oh gosh, fine, whatever. And so, um, you know, I, I had a little pity party for myself for like five minutes. And then um, I do what I always try and do is just take responsibility. And so I'm like, okay, you know, I can feel sorry for myself and say the scales are rigged and talk about how muscle weighs more than fat and blah de blah blah And it's hard to lose weight when you're over 50. All of those things are true, but I still want to weigh 120 pounds. And that's just what I want to do. And when I set my mind to do something, I figure out a way to do it. And a lot of you have sent me really nice comments and said, don't worry about it. But for me, I want to get back to the weight that I felt best. And I am a very um, come hell or high water kind of girl. That's how I've ever achieved anything that I set my mind out to do. So I just, I like had a little talk with myself and I'm like, okay, well, if you want to get back to 120, that means you have to lose 20 more pounds. And in order to do that, you've got to weigh yourself and like keep a better check on what you're doing, count your calories, um, and weigh yourself on a regular basis so that a year and a half from now, you're not scratching your head wondering why you only lost three pounds. So I started doing that. I have weighed myself Monday through Friday, every day that I go to Orange Theory, twice a day. When I walk into the place, I get on the scale. After I've worked out for an hour, I get back on the scale. And this is what has happened in the last two weeks since I got my body fat tested. Day one, I weighed a pound more than what the body fat test guy said. So then I started doing the intermittent fasting and I cut back and I came and I think the scales said I weighed like 142, uh, like 142 point something. And so over the weekend I ate salad, I still am eating keto, I cut back on some of like the little treats and I came back on Monday and I was 140 point something. I'm like, yes, I lost two pounds over the weekend. So that day I went home and I ate the exact same amount of calories, the exact same food that I ate the two days previously. And the next day I weighed myself and I was a pound more. And I'm like, I ate exactly the same amount of calories as the day before, but yet I gained a pound. So I'm like, okay. And then, and then <clears throat> I weighed 141 something. And then after the workout, there's my sister watching. Why, Danielle, why aren't you cut here? You're supposed to be here cutting my hair. Um, after the workout was over, I actually weighed two pounds more. So I gained two pounds during the workout, which totally baffled me. And yeah, I drink a lot of water, but I also went to the bathroom before. You're on your, she says she's on her way. They want you to cut my hair on the live, Danielle. Um, and so I was just like, whatever you know and so then the next day i came back and i get and i ate i went home that day and i ate the same amount of calories again and i came back the next day and i gained another pound and so i was just like is this some kind of cruel joke and then i weighed myself after the workout and i was up another pound and so then i just i'm like there's no way that I can cut back anymore on my calories because I, it's the same scale in the same place on the floor. Um, you know, and yeah, I have my workout clothes on, but you know, they're not that heavy. So I just, I kind of like, I just felt like I need to give this a week at this amount of calories because I don't want to get into some kind of trap where I'm just like lowering my calories to a place where it's like starvation mode. And right now I think I'm eating 12 to 1400 and working out every day. And that's comfortable for me. I'm not starving, um, but I know I'm not overeating and I'm eating healthy. So I just continued on with that trajectory for like another, I guess like seven to 10 days cause it's been two weeks now. And then I slowly like went back down and this morning I was back at 140.6. 
so, and I've maintained that 140 for like two days in a row. <laughs> so that's really exciting. Um, but it's just like, it gave me, like I just took the attitude, not that I'm gonna get obsessed with weighing myself twice a day, five days a week, but I wanted to see like what the, what my body does and get like more of a realistic view on like the ups and downs and the fluctuation. And I think it's really interesting that I can go in and weigh myself and then after working out like really, really hard, Orange Theory, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it's an hour workout and you are just like drenched in sweat by the end of it. And I drink a full bottle of water usually throughout the whole thing. Um, but you can weigh like two, like on average, it fluctuates, but um, there was only one day when I actually weighed less going out than when I, uh, than what I weighed going in. And usually it's a pound up or two pounds up in that hour. So I just thought that was interesting. And um, I am, I'm just gonna continue on with the calorie count and the macro count that I'm doing now, which is keto, which is, 30% fat, 70%, um, no, no, 70% fat, 30% protein, and under 20 carbs a day. Although I did, um, I ordered this online. It's snickerdoodle cookie granola, grain sugar and soy free, right here. It is so good. It is expensive. I think it's like $12 for the bag. It's scary good. Like I, I ate maybe a fourth of a cup of it and it tastes like, like cookie dough, like the best cookie dough ever and there's no sugar in it, no carbs. Um, so if you're on keto, I highly recommend it. Um, you probably could get like 10 servings out of this. So if you really want something yummy and cookie dough like and you're on keto, this is definitely like I've tried a lot of the very expensive keto um, snack foods that you can order on Amazon. I try and stay away from those and just stick to regular food. Um, but, and a lot of them have been disappointing, but this, good, like really good. Like I had to, I had to force myself to stop eating it good. Um, and so anyway, that's, that is the update. It's made with, let's see. Extra virgin coconut oil, erythritol, almonds, walnuts, golden flax seeds, sunflower seeds, free range eggs, pecans, Himalayan pink salt, grass fed, bovine collagen, stevia, cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon, vanilla extract, sodium bicarbonate, and clove. Most of the ingredients are organic, so that's good quality ingredients for um, fun, fun snack food. Um, and it is made by Grapow, G-R-A slash P-O-W. I'll try and find the link and put it down below, but, um, yeah, it's good. Like I've had some keto cookies that I ordered and those, they, those like on a scale of one to 10 were like a five and, um, I didn't like them that much, but you know, for a cookie, a cookie should be good if you're gonna eat a cookie. And I've ordered a lot of the like little cheese cracker things. Those were just okay. I think maybe I burn out on those. I like those in the beginning. I've ordered some granola bars that aren't bad. I've ordered, ordered some keto ice cream that was pretty darn good, but um, yeah, I don't think I should have ice cream in the house for a while. Um, but it was good. So I will put the links to those below if you're on keto keto pancakes. I make those all the time, Brenda, and I love them. Um, they're really good with the almond flour. So yeah, lately I've been eating a lot of taco salad. So if you have any questions about keto or any advice, let me know. I'm going to try and come on here with another story pretty soon, but I got to get a handle on all the work I have to do for boot camp coming up. So let me know if you plan to attend either Delaware or um, Tennessee. I did make the chocolate fat bombs with my sister. We melted the Lily's chocolate chips with the macadamia nuts and sprinkled the Himalayan salt on. Those were really good. I cannot wait to meet you.
funky Miss Funky Butterfly in Delaware. So come see us either in Delaware at Jane's Reliable on September 8th or at Farm Fresh Vintage Vines September 22nd. Forgive me for not knowing the exact date. Um, and if you are interested in attending the day camp, we have just a handful of tickets left. There's t still time to sign up for that. I'll put the link down below. And yeah, have a great week and I will see you soon, hopefully, back with another story. Um, thanks for watching.